Hey yo, what is up guys? Zane here. Welcome back to a new video. And this is going to be something I'm probably going to regularly do with comedy rap artists. And today we, I am very excited for this video. We are going to do a Young Spinach Come Shot tier list on every single song he's ever made, including his new album songs. Uh, go check it out. Link in the description, by the way. Go stream Heat. It is absolutely incredible, and I am so happy Spinach is back. But anyways, um, a brief rundown if you don't know Spinach. Um, Young Spinach, Come Shot, um, was making comedy rap songs for a while until one of his songs called Subway Sexists blew up on TikTok and started giving him tons of followers. Now, many people don't know that. Many people don't know who made Subway Sexists, but the people who did find out came to his channel, and now he has a very loyal fan base of 68,000. And we're coming up on that 100K mark. I can't wait until he reaches 100K. He totally deserves it. But yeah, today we are doing the spinach tier list. So let's get right into it. So for the tiers, we have... Uh, I think five of them? Uh, yeah, pretty sure. So we have Daddy. These are the songs that absolutely slap. The ones that make your girl moan and obviously go Daddy. And this, these songs, absolute bangs. These are amazing songs. Now we got the next one, which is Heat. And this one, this one is for the songs that don't quite reach it but are incredible and you probably have saved on your playlist. These are pretty good uh, ones and uh, so any ones in there, definitely recommend to listen to. And then we got um, uh, Spinach Done Well. These are the ones who that don't reach Heat or Daddy, but are just pretty all right. They're not the best, they're not the worst. But they are okay. You can listen to them. You can bob your head a few times. And be like, yeah, this is okay. So, yeah. And then we got You Kinda Lost Me Here. Which, obviously, You Kinda Lost Me Here. This song was not that good. I didn't like it. And, um, I hope you do next better next time. And then, um, the final tier list is Dog Shit. Which, by the way, I have, I have one or two I'm gonna put in there but for very good reason, all right? I don't like giving full-on criticism. So, yeah, that will not be pulled out until you guys know, and you could probably feel it. So, yeah, dog shit, like, seriously bad. Like, please stop, rip my ears out. So, yeah. Now, on to the fucking tier list. Let's go. Let's do it! Since this is a tier list of every single song he has ever made, let's go back way to the beginning, where Young Spinach Come Shot began with his first ever song. So on April 17, April 14, 2020, Young Spinach uploaded a song called Early Morning Nut. This song bars. It's a great first song. I'm actually highly impressed with it for it being a first song. Well, no, he probably had music experience before. But for a first song in his genre of being this character known as Young Spinach, it is a great first song. So, Early Morning Nuts, we are popping that shit straight up to the daddy tier. Straight up to the daddy tier, well done. Young Spinach Come Shot. This was a great first song. And now, let's head on to the next one. Alright, now going to the next one. When Spinach realized that he was kind of getting a small little following, he made an album called Evil. And the first song of Evil is called Ice Cream. And it's all about, obviously, ice cream jizz. But anyways, um, listening to this song over again today, um... It was mixed for a second song. It wasn't bad. It wasn't worse. So this is going straight into the well done spinach tier. So yeah. Well done spinach. This song was pretty good. But it wasn't enough to reach heat. So yeah. 
So obviously, because it's a tier list, we're going to have to make some um, decisions that rate the songs lower than the others and some raising, ratings I don't even want to put in. But this is an honest tier list, so... Cock and Ball Torture, second song of Evil. This song is going into... Um, you kind of lost me here. Now, this song I didn't like really at all. Um, I mean, it's funny. It's a bit funny, but, um, this is going to be something that is going to go throughout the whole video, but I mainly do not like Lil Wangstein features. Like, he's minorly all right, but I don't like Will Lil Wangstein. And this was his first ever song with his brother. So, Lil Wangstein, uh, kind of brought down the song and, uh, the beat I didn't really like. So, Cock and Ball Torture will go down in You Kinda Lost Me Here. Now, yeah. Um, but some Lil Wangstein features are better than the others. But, yeah. Alright, Evil. Now, we got another one that is going down in You Kinda Lost Me Here. And I think the whole fan base agrees with me when I say this. Um, because even Spinach himself said that this song wasn't good. He didn't do a good job and he wants to remake it. And I'll fully admit that too. This one was kind of really meh and it was kind of, it was pretty bad. So rating evil into my Young Spinach Come Shot songs tier list, we are putting him in You Kinda Lost Me Here. Right alongside the other song called Cock and Ball Torture. So yeah. Now let's get back into the good ratings. We got our first ever heat with Young Spinach Cum Shot, PP Island. This song, whoo, this song, absolute bars. This song is crazy. This song is amazing. I love this song. I used to listen to this song all the damn time when I used to listen to it in November. And I just love it. It's, it's great. But, I think Early Morning Nut is better than it, and it doesn't really come close. So we are going to rate into the tier list, like I said earlier, PP Island is a heat. So yeah. Alright, now on to the next song. Alright, now we are on to Eating Ass. This song, um... Genuinely lost me. I didn't like this. Uh, the beat, the lyrics, and stuff. So, yeah, and like the, uh, the, the slowdowns and speed ups and stuff like that. So, I didn't like that. So, this is gonna go into, uh, You Kinda Lost Me Here. And, yeah, it, it's just, uh, You Kinda Lost Me Here because... Truly, I did get lost by this song. I didn't like it, and I don't think it's really that good. So, yeah, Eating Ass is a kind of lost me here. Now, here we are with another amazing song. This song, I listen to on a daily. This is the best song of Spinach, basically, I've ever heard. This song is absolutely incredible, and he thinks so as well. It is called Flex on My Ex. This song, absolute straight hits. Like, I wish this was a song that blew up on TikTok. Because this song, it's so good. It's so good. And you gotta remember, this guy's my age. Well, he's a little older than me. But he's my age. And he's making good songs like this. Straight to God tier. This is incredible. I love this song. I love this song. I love this song. Daddy. Daddy tear. Fuck. That is... It's just so good. It's so good! Flex on my ex. Oral sex. sex. I play Minecraft with the best specs. I, I only take dubs. Lock on to the hub. I am superior like the ace of clubs. I might pull up on your bitch. I won't even hesitate. Nothing on my wrist or else I'd be overweight. Can't rhyme, I get help online. I'm telling you, Rhyme Zone is a gold mine. 2960, you already know. We bring the whole gang and we pull up on your hoe. Come stains on my white Gucci shoes. 
Now we are on to Coochie and Gucci. Uh, this song, the song after this was obviously the one that blew him up. Uh, so we sexist, but Coochie and Gucci. Now this song I really like. It's pretty good, pretty good lyrics, pretty good beats. Lil Wangstein. Now Lil Wangstein's part on this is probably better than his cock and ball torture one, but I don't like it really and and then i don't know i don't know i just don't like low Einstein on this one so putting coochie and gucci into the tier list this will be a well done spinach it's not gonna go next to a cock and ball torture and kind of lost me here because i do like it in low Einstein. i kind of bought my head to it a little bit but it's not it's not as good as spinach and when you break that flow it just doesn't fit so yeah rating coochie and gucci it is well done spinach now it is time for a controversial decision subway sexists dog shit now i have many reasons for not liking this song number one it is it's just annoying really annoying after you listen to it for a while for some reason a lot of spinach's songs after you listen to it for a while it's really good and you can keep listening to it for a long time like i said flex on my ex i probably heard that over ten thousand times pb island one thousand and i never got sick of it they're really good bars but <sighs> subway sexists just i didn't like it probably because it blew up on TikTok, but one of the main reasons why I hate this is because it people got more likes and followers and views than Spinach did on making this song. And that's not deserved at all. TikTok stealing content and getting more views and more likes and more subscribers and then calling it your own, it's just mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. And also, so it's a controversial decision, probably with the fan base, because this is a song that probably everyone came to his channel from. But why this is in dog shit, not only because TikTok stole it, not only because, um, uh, what else? What else? Um, not only because it's annoying, but also because people like this way more than his other songs. And his other songs are way, way better. So this being the primary song that everybody likes just really disappoints me, and that is why it's in dog shit. So yeah, sorry Spinach, sorry Sexist is bad, but um, if I listened to it and it wasn't a TikTok sound, it would probably be in kind of lost me here. So yeah, now we are on to Early Morning Nut Part 2. This is the end of Coochie and Gucci, the album. And this song, um, gotta admit, pretty fire, pretty good. Does it live up to Early Morning Nut number one being the first song and being bars? No. But I really like it. It bobbed my head a little bit and I kind of sang along. So this will go in heat. Yeah, this will go in heat. I really like this one. Well done, Spinach. This is going in heat. So yeah. Now, we are on to KFP. Now, backstory behind this one. KFP, also known as Kentucky Fried... I don't, I'm probably should have said it right now because... <laughs> but anyways, Kentucky Fried P. Um, this song was going to be um, released in December. And it was going to be... Or December 1st. And it was going to be fire. It was going to be Spinach's uh, next project. And he worked really hard on it. And it's amazing. But the sad unfortunate thing that happened was in November, before um, it was supposed to be released, his mom found out about his music and and um, canceled him. And so he made his video. It's over. And obviously, like, his fans were disappointed, saddened, and really really like just craving for kfp the song was so wildly wanted so yeah tons of people wanted kfp so over the days and months 
Um, it was going okay, like, you know, he uploaded a video here and there, giving an update or something like that. But then, he uploaded a video, I should probably check. Okay, so he uploaded a video on the 21st of December, um, almost a full month later, saying that KFP is going to be released. So his mom allowed him to do KFP, finish it with his brother, finish KFP. Now, KFP was done. It was it was gonna be done and released. So on, I forgot when it was released. Um, January 25th, another month later, because it took a while to get to streaming services and everything. So on January 25th, 2021, KFP was finally released. And this song is absolute fire. This was supposed to be the last hurrah. This was the last young Spanish cum shot song before he just surrendered to his mom and went to his main channel and just stayed kid friendly. And this song hits back to back to back. Even Lil Wangstein's part, I liked the most. Or not the most, but I liked, I liked his brothers in this. This was a great song. This was like a sweet goodbye. So, rating KFP into the tier list, we got another daddy. We got another daddy. This is an amazing song. I fully recommend it. Will be in the description, by the way. All the all the songs will be in the description, by the way. Um, so, KFP, daddy. So, yeah. Now, we are on to Heat. Back in May... Spinach released a song, or released a video, not a song, sorry. He released a video, um, s s a live stream, or premiere, actually, uh, and it just said big news. Nobody knew what it was yet until he changed the title or you watched the video live and knew what was going on, was that he is coming back. His He convinced his mom. His mom is totally okay with him allowing music. And I even noticed on Instagram, he posted a picture with her face blurred out, obviously. I love that privacy. Of his mom wearing his merch. And it's crazy. And I was like, in the comments, like, whoa, he's fully gone for it. So, yeah. Um, so, we are on to Heat, the album that released recently, just last week, I believe. Yeah, just last week. And, yeah, uh, it's been going great. And I love Heat. Heat is a great album. But how does the first ever song rate up to it? So Heat, the first song. Now Heat, this is the first song that um, was released after his mom obviously gave him permission again. So, of course, he had to come back with those bars saying, like, yeah, you already know I'm fucking back. And this song... I'll admit, it's on my playlist. This song is incredible. I love this song. I love the feature, by the way. It sounds like a rice gum feature for like a few minutes. I'm like, when I first listened to that, I'm like, why does that guy sound like rice gum? But, um, this song, Heat, absolutely dominates. Will this go into God tier? Yes. Yes. Heat on ourselves with another daddy and yeah this is a great song fully recommend it once again all links will be in the description but yes heat so yeah on to the next song of the album all right now we are down to dollars now this one once again featuring Lil Wangstein is not the worst not the best dollars um is pretty good it's pretty good second song in this album and, yeah, um, so, I will say, though, Lil Wangstein, um, his verse was probably the worst one out of, out of the whole album, and in general, like, his worst verse of all the songs, like, it goes from KFP, um, Coochie and Gucci, uh, here with dollars, and then... Cock and ball torture. So dollars, I rate that in a spinach done well. Uh, so yeah, on to the next song, which is McDonald's Sprite. 
Now, with McDonald's Sprite, I am mixed with this one. Now, McDonald's Sprite um, was really hyped up. Spinach said this is going to be probably the best one of the album. You're going to love it the most. It's going to be amazing. And what I can compare it to is probably a better version of Subway Sexists. Obviously, this didn't blow up on TikTok, so big up. It wasn't stolen. Big up. But is it annoying? Eh. But, um, I think the hype is kind of what ruined it for me. Because he says, this overpasses flex on my ex. Which, it absolutely does not do so. And, um, it's a pretty good chorus. Really, pretty good beat. Um, I... I don't know. Something that also ruined it for me is the Among Us reference. Obviously, it's just so old. Among Us on July 23rd. It's just like, quit, stop. Among Us is like, dead, dead. It's just like, the whole, sus, and, and, um, imposter, and all that stuff. It's just getting so annoying. It's almost been a year since Among Us blew up. And it's just so annoying at this point. So, I didn't like that part. Um, so yeah, um, uh, McDonald's Sprite, I'll put it in a spinach done well. So yeah, now on to the second to last song, which is one of my favorites of the album, Video Games. <laughs> Video Games. This one hits hard. I love this one. It's on my playlist. I have it saved and liked and it's just so 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 good i love video games i love the feature i love the beat i love the lyrics it is awesome but does it reach god tier no so this will be in heat this is a great song fully recommend so in this album it will probably be heat um video games um, in and out McDonald's Sprite, and then Dollars. So yeah, that's my that's my recommendation of how to listen to it. But yeah. Anyways, um, let's go on to the final song of the album. And the final song Spinach has most recently released called In and Out. So let's do it! Now the final song of the album and the most recent song Spinach has released, In and Out. This song, um, at first, to me, it didn't really sound that great. But, I just over-listened listened to it again, and this one's heat. Yeah, this one's really good. I like this one. Especially the feature. I didn't hear the feature before. I heard the beginning, I'm like, mm-mm. But, um, the feature on this one is actually pretty good. And, um, I like the lyrics, I like the beat. Um, yeah, this is a heat. So yeah, that is the end of the tier list. Heat is the final one for the final song. So yeah. So anyways, guys, I want to uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, this tier list. Um, I really enjoyed making it and I really enjoyed uh, rating these songs of Young Spinach, you know, my idol. And I'm gonna try my hardest to live up to these songs and try to be as good as him but um yeah but anyways um if you're coming from the young spinach come shot discord which i will probably put the link for this video in in one of the channels and stuff for you guys to watch or young spinach actually noticed me and put this in his stories and everything to go watch this and everything youtube and yeah uh, if you are from one of those, my name is Zane. Um, I am a inspire. I am trying to be one of these YouTube comedy rappers. I have a couple songs right now, but they're not really the best. But I have been working on a ton of ideas for ones that are coming very, very soon. And trust me, I think you will like them. So, anyways, if you want to subscribe, uh, please click that red button down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.